Hi everyone, my name is Celeste. Welcome and thank you for being here. Today's class is going to be focused on our wrists and our hands. It's not going to be a yoga flow, it's going to be more of a therapy session for both hands and wrists. So you will notice that it's going to be kind of a start and stop sort of exercises. I want you to just take these exercises that I'm going to show you, adapt them to you, and use them whenever you want, because you will notice that the exercises we're going to go through are exercises you, that you can isolate, just, I really like one exercise, you can save it in your pocket and use it whenever you want. There's no need to go through the entire, um, the entire session, but it's on you. Now, before starting, as usual, I would like to speak a little bit about what we're going to do and about why we're doing it. So if you don't want to hear me chatting about wrists and fingers and hands, then go ahead and skip me all the way up to this minute and you can start with the exercises. All right, so why working on the wrists and our hands? Why would that be important? Well, depending on what you do every day, you might use your hands and wrists more or less, but we do use them all the time. You can imagine any situation, just picking up a glass of water to drink, uh, using your computer, maybe you're a handstander and you are a lot of time, you put a lot of pressure on your wrists. Maybe you are a pianist and you need your hands and your wrists healthy in order to be able to move better. And if you are none of these, if you are a human, you might as well benefit yourself from working on your wrists and your hands, because they are attached to the rest of your body. Therefore, working on one part, even though we're going to single out this area, will always contribute to the overall health of your arm, particularly, and of your whole body in general. All right, without talking any longer, let's get to it. Okay, so for this class, I would like you to bring to you something that you can use to add a bit of weight to the movement. So I am going to be using a resistant band because they are my go-to, but if you don't have a, a resistant band, you can also grab a can of anything that you, that you find in your kitchen cupboard. I got Petit Poin baby carrots. You can grab, of course, any other can, or you can also use a bottle of water. Basically, we're going to use it to just add some weight to the wrist movements that we are going to go through. Once you have whatever you need with you, let's get started. All right, so first things first, let's do a little bit of sensory stimulation. Remember, when we start by kind of awakening our skin, it's a way of lightening the weight for your brain to create better movement. So we are basically just letting our brain know, hey, here's my arm, here's my hands, here's my fingers. So then when we have to move, we do it better, safer and smarter. All right, so let's start by rubbing our hands, creating some heat, some friction. We can do finger by finger. Imagine you had rings all over your fingers and you were trying to take the rings out. All right, don't forget the thumb. Finger by finger. Great. The back of your hands as well. Amazing. Now we're going to do the same, but on our wrists, you can choose. Oh, you can do it with the whole palm. And you choose the way you do this, right? You can do it softer. You can do a little bit harder. You can do like the lightest touch. You can vary. You can do in one hand one and the other one another way. Amazing. And now we're going to wrap our shoulder, the whole shoulder, at the front, a little bit the chest, at the back, because you might be thinking, we're going to be working on our wrists. Why do we need our shoulders to, to be also warmed up? Well, basically because it is part of our whole arm and we are going to be doing some nerve flossing as well. So I want the full arm to be awake and warmed up. Let's go down your triceps, your biceps, the eye of your elbow, the elbow, all your forearm. Amazing. And now we change. We do the wrists if we didn't. 
amazing. Once we finish with the wrist, we go to the shoulder. And again, the whole shoulder, just rub your scapula as far as you can. The front of your shoulder, the back, and then we go down to the biceps and triceps, the arm, the eye of the elbow. It's a part that we don't usually pay attention to. There, the elbow itself, the forearm. Amazing. Well done. All right. Now we have our full arms um, warmed up. Let's just do a bit of a shake, shake, shake for the wrists and let the fingers floppy, right? Just let them floppy. Don't, don't let your fingers hard. Just let them be and move your wrists. You can do a circle, take your arms up, take them down. Ooh, well done. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some nerve flossing. And the first nerve we're gonna flow, floss is the median nerve. And the sensation is gonna be felt on your thumb, index and middle finger. Now, nerves do not like to be stretched that much. So the idea is that as soon as we feel the slightest sensation, we stop. Because it's not the greatest idea to stress the nerves too much. We want to have healthy arms, healthy wrists. So let's not get injured. As soon as you feel the slightest, slightest sensation, we stop right there. I'm gonna do the full exercise, but you can, again, stop whenever you already feel the sensation. All right, so let's first choose a comfortable stance, more or less hip width. If you want a little bit wider, go for it. The idea is that we can keep the body relaxed. Nice, you let both your arms rest next to your body. And inhale and grow tall, tall, tall. Imagine you had uh, something over your head that you needed to push all the way up to the ceiling. And think of lengthening the spine from the base of your, of your neck, right? There, maybe you can create a tiny, tiny double the chin. All right, and once we are there, choose whatever arm you want to start with. I'm gonna choose the left, and we will spread the fingers. Please do it with me. The arm is long at the side of the body, and we spread the fingers wide. We extend the wrist. This is called wrist extension, so basically, you bring your palm up. From here, we're gonna rotate the arm from the shoulder out. We rotate it out. This is called external rotation. From there, we are gonna take your shoulder down, so depress your scapula. You might already be feeling sensation right there on your pinky finger or any of these sorry, on any of these three fingers. You might already be feeling it. So spread, flex, rotate, depress the scapula. And now we're gonna do abduction. So we're gonna take the arm out. You will probably already feel some sensation here. And from here, we will turn the head away from the arm. If this is too much, you had to stop before, please back up, back up, back off, and do it slower. Once we feel this tingling sensation, now we're gonna start with the flossing. So we're gonna extend the wrist and flex it. Only move the wrist, extend it and flex it. One more and flex it. And we're gonna do the same with the head. Bring it back to center, tilt it, bring it back, tilt, up and tilt. Come back, well done, relax, shake the arm and we change, we go to the right one, or whatever you didn't do. So, nice and tall, comfortable stance. Remember to keep your body soft, right? No, there's, there's no need to tense anything. Just keep it relaxed. You can wiggle it, maybe if this was too much, you can just give some stimulation to your arm, like, all right, all right. Okay, and let's go with the other one. So spread the fingers wide, extend the wrist, Externally rotate, depress the shoulder, abduct the arm, so take it out, and tilt your head away. 
and once you feel the sensation, this tingling on the arm, we're gonna start with the flossing. So we let the hand out and bring it back, extend it and back. One more, one more. And now we do the same with the head. Bring it back to center, tilt it back, bring back to center, tilt it back, bring back to center, tilt back. Well done. We shake it, shake it. Great, amazing. All right, now we will do some finger waves, but for this, we're gonna do them on the floor. You can also do them on the table. You can be sitting down and doing this on your legs, like really any surface that you want to do this on, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so the idea is I'm gonna show it to the side. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna get closer. The idea is that we're gonna do uh, waves with your with our fingers and using each of the joints, each of them, each of the little joints that we have. We have a lot on our hands and our fingers, so we really need to focus on using every single joint. And what we will be doing is this motion, but on the floor and adding a little bit of tension. So let's go. So now I'm gonna do it from the side so maybe you can see the actual movement. We will place one hand on, a, on the surface that you're gonna be working with. Spread your fingers in a comfortable way. And so we start the tip of our fingers and then joint by joint all the way up to your wrist and then come back the same way. If you can see, I'm trying to really use every joint of our hand. Amazing. The pinky finger sometimes <laughs> gets a little bit out of the way. One more. Amazing. And let's not forget our friend, the thumb. So we will do the same, but only with the thumb. We start with the tip of the finger all the way out to the wrist. Two more. This will contribute to the mobility of your fingers, your wrists. It will help you have a better grip. Great, and now let's change the hand. So we start tip of our fingers and little joint by little joint all the way up to the wrist. And we come back again. We come back. Now the thumb. Amazing. Remember to keep breathing. The rest of your body is soft. And now, the amount throughout the whole class, the amount of tension that you want to add, the amount of weight that you want to add to each of the exercises is on you and only you know how much you want to and how much you can handle. So if you would like to make this slightly harder, then you would take a little bit more weight to the fingers while doing it. If you want to make it way softer, then you literally try to not add any weight into the, into the hand, just the motion itself is great. We did the thumb, I think. Yes, we did, amazing. Now we will place the hands. We're gonna do like a little drunk, it's gonna look like a drunk spider. So we're gonna place the tip of our fingers on the, on the mat, on the floor, on the table, whatever you fancy. And basically we're gonna let them, let them kind of loose and just move your, your hand around. See, like uh, it looks very strange and it feels very weird, but it's mainly for this first joint here that we don't usually move that one too much. So doing this can help mobilize, basically, the, the first joint of the finger. There you go. Your thumb as well. Amazing. Well done. All right. Now we stand up and we are going to do another nerve flossing. This one is called urnal nerve. And it basically feeds the pinky finger and the ring finger. And this is where you are gonna have the sensation on this uh, flossing exercise. 
again, remember, on a one to 10 sensation, we want to stop whenever we feel a three, whatever this means for you. So be mindful of please not doing this too much because we can actually get worse than better. So let's do it mindfully, okay. Now for this exercise, again, same idea. Keep your stance comfortable, stand nice and tall. Let both your hands hang next to your body. And so we begin. Again, I'm gonna start with my left uh, arm. So we're gonna spread the fingers, extend the wrist. So basically flex the hand, <laughs> extend the wrist. And this one's gonna go a bit different. From here, we imagine we have a tennis ball in on our um, elbow and we want to squeeze the tennis ball. Now, we are not gonna lose any of the previous steps, basically spread and straight fingers, flex wrist, well, extended wrist, and then we press the ball here. Now, from here, again, without losing any of this connection, if you already feel sensation here, we stop there and we just floss from here. But if not, if you're still like, I can go a bit more, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flex the shoulder up to where the humerus is parallel to the floor. And from there, we are gonna depress the shoulder and very softly, very gently start opening the, uh, the um, elbow to the outside. And once you feel the tingling on your pinky and ring finger, we turn, tilt the head, uh, the head away and we start with the flossing. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lift the shoulder, depress the shoulder, lift it up. Nice, one more, lift the shoulder up and down, and now the head, tilt it, come back to center, tilt, come back to center, and relax, woohoo. Okay, let's change the arm again, nice and tall, continue breathing softly and smoothly, and let's go. So spread the fingers, flex, but more extend the wrist, imagine the imaginary tennis ball, or if you want to actually do it, you can do it as well and we bring the fingers towards our shoulder, squeeze the tennis ball here, flex the shoulder, so lift it up until your humerus is parallel to the floor. And from there, we depress the shoulder and very gently open. For me, this is already enough, until the head away. And what we're gonna do to floss is lift the shoulder up, drop it down, lift it up, Drop it down, lift it up, drop it down, and the head, you can try with the head, or you can try with the wrist. Amazing, well done. Woo, release, do a little bit of a shimmy shake. Shake them wrists, tap the arms. Great, mwah, mwah. kiss your wrist, you did great. Amazing, well done. All right, so we're gonna go to the floor again, one more time. If you don't have a floor, you want to do this on the table, on your legs. All these exercises, again, are meant for you to adapt, adapt them to whatever you are, okay? So for this, we are gonna be doing some wrist circles, but this time we're gonna do them on the floor. So I'll do it like this so you can see me. And again, remember that as the more you lean against, the more you lean on your wrist, the more difficult it's gonna be. So my advice is if you haven't done this before, first try with no weight at all, and then you can uh, gradually start adding the weight. So spread fingers, full palm on the floor. And first we're gonna flip the palm, the, the hand, so the, so the palm faces the ceiling. From here, we're gonna let the pinky finger guide the movement. So we're gonna start creating this circle. Let the pinky finger guide you, guide you, guide you, guide you all the way until you think like there's no more. And through the thumb, through the space between the thumb and the index finger, we are gonna flip the palm back, the hand back. One more time, spread fingers. And we start through the pinky finger, so we Turn the hand, palm faces the ceiling. 
we create this circle towards the inside all the way all the way and once you think there's no more way to circle there through the space between your index finger and your thumb we come back now we're going to reverse this so we start through the space between your thumb and your index finger we let the thumb guide the movement all the way and then we come back to center through the outside edge of your hand let's do it one more time through the index finger and thumb continue circle 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 and once you think like this is okay <laughs> up to here is where i get we flip the hand back amazing well done some some light touch for your wrist great and then we change the hand again i'm not gonna get tired of saying this be mindful of the amount of pressure that you put on the wrist the idea is that this is a therapy for your wrist and hands not an absolute workout so just be be really careful and follow your follow your intuition all right okay again full palm on the floor fingers are spread and we start through the edge of the pinky finger we flip the palm up and then again the pinky finger guides the movement we create this circle 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 once we can't circle any longer through the space between thumb and middle, middle finger we flip the palm back and we start again through the edge of the pinky finger let it guide your circle and through the space between thumb and index we come back to center and now we reverse the movement so we start through here we flip the the hand and let the thumb guide the movement all the way around and we flip it back through the outer edge of the hand and one more time amazing well done let's do some strokey strokey some clapping for your wrists <laughs> they did awesome amazing all right now it's time to use our props so again no matter what you have if you have a can of anything if you have the resistant bands i am going to be doing this with the resistant band but again you can just change the the exercise will be exactly the same it's just that you will be holding the can or holding your resistant band so don't worry it's exactly the same idea with the can you can whatever be sitting be standing with the resistant band i'm going to invite you to stand up with me and so first we will step, say with the right leg. So we start with the left knee, <laughs> with the left wrist. It's going to be opposite. And as usual, the amount of pressure is measured by you and only you. I don't know how much you can handle these exercises or you want to. I don't know how much tension you need to add because each of everyone, each of you is going to be a different amount. And of course, if any amount at all is already a lot, then just do these exercises without any resistance until you start getting better and you progressively can add weight or um, resistance to your exercises. All right, so we step through the, through the resistance band. We grab it uh, between the thumb and your fingers. And so we make a fist. Now, the idea is that we keep the knuckles, we keep the knuckles in line and parallel to the floor. So the leg that we have the resistant band wrapped on is gonna go to the front. We relax the body, shouldn't be, anything should be tense except for your wrist that is gonna be working. Apart from that, keep a soft breath, keep a soft stance and let's go. So knuckles parallel in line to the floor and now we have to really focus on our wrist okay so even though we need to keep the knuckles parallel the movement every movement that we're going to go through now is going to come from the wrist so you can lock your elbow here on the side of your body so you don't move it around and what we will do is we're going to start first to kind of glide your wrist to the sides and so what I'm doing is through my wrists, I am going side to side. Again, if this is too much, then 
um, then just shorten the resistance band and you will find less pressure. You can be doing this with a can, remember, holding the can. Amazing, well done. Now we stop and we're gonna go up through the wrist and down. Remember, it's for the wrist. You might feel this in your forearm as well. Amazing, and now we're gonna try to match the point. So we go to side, down, side and up. Create these little circles. And to the other side. It's a bit strange at first to understand the movement, but look at there. Amazing, well done. Shake the hand, give it a little bit of touch. Again, kisses. Great, and we change the foot. So we are gonna step the resistance band with the left and we're gonna work on our right hand. Remember, stance comfortable, soft, keep breathing, keep growing nice and tall through your spine. You can use the elbow to kind of like lock you against the body. Knuckles parallel to the floor in line and we start with some laterals. So through the wrist, the movement comes through from the wrist. Great, side to side. And now we're gonna go up and down. Great, and now we're gonna match the points. So side, up, side and down. And we create these circles to one side. Once you're ready, to the other side. Hey, well done, amazing. Now again, some love for the fingers, for the wrists. Cool, let's do our third and last nerve flossing exercise. All right, so next nerve that we are gonna be flossing is the radial nerve, and you will feel it kind of in your tricep here. You might also feel it in your forearm. Again, as I keep saying, sensation on a scale from one to 10, we just keep it up to a three, and there is where we floss. This one's gonna be slightly different, so again, nice and tall, comfortable stance, air coming in and out through your nose. And what we will do is we're gonna reach the thumb across the, the palm. We are gonna flex the wrist, so bring the fingers towards, kind of towards your body. We're gonna internally rotate the arm, right? So we rotate it through the shoulder internally, not, not to the outside, but to the inside. From here, we are gonna depress the scapula. Remember to lock the elbow, all right? Don't, don't let the elbow flex because we lose the tension on the nerve. So we depress the scapula. We abduct the, the arm slightly, so we take it to the outside and we tilt the head away. You might be feeling it already on your wrist, forearm. And from there, we're gonna start with the flossing. So for this one, we're gonna lift the shoulder up, depress it down, lift it up and down. One more time, up and down. And let's just tilt the head away and come back to center away and come back to center one more come back to center amazing relax shake it shake it shake it out and let's change hands so we cross we reach the thumb across the palm we flex the the wrist we internally rotate it right from the shoulder remember to keep the elbow locked from here we're gonna depress the shoulder abduct the, the arm slightly and tilt the head away and again we start with the flossing so lift the shoulder up and down up and down one more and down and now we're gonna do maybe maybe we can bend and extend the elbow and back again one more and we let it loose we release Ooh, amazing okay you did it, let's do last but not least, a bit of massage for your forearm and your wrist. So we place one hand on the, on the floor, palm facing up, and with the other forearm, we are just gonna give some massage, some extra love. 
You can just rotate your hand and go to the parts that you prefer the most, your wrists a little bit. Be mindful, be gentle, change the arm. Great. Well done. Amazing. All right. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it out, shake your shoulders. And yes, okay. So that was all for today. I hope your wrists are feeling better. Um, there are plenty of more exercises that we can do for our fingers and our wrists. If you would like me to add any videos that uh, help your wrists and hands to feel better and be more mobile, if you like this video, please hit like. If you want to get more weekly free classes, you can subscribe to my channel. And yes, uh, if you want any more wrist exercises and you think that it would be a good idea to have more videos of this, then just let me know in the comments and yeah, we can see what we can do. That's it for today. I hope your arms are feeling way smoother, that you can move them better, and I hope that your wrists are feeling great as well. All right. Thank you and see you very soon on the mat.